to get silly. Yes. He is very, very, yes, he is very silly. Uh, you he hi. is very silly. Yes, boo. Just so this damn Let me cute. take them in. This is let me <laughs> absorb mm. their energy and their souls. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm ready now. I have fed. I am ready. <laughs> tell me about this new movie, Next Goal Win. Tell me about it. I'll tell you about it. It's the true story of the worst soccer team in the, in the world. And um, it, this, is, this really happened. American Samoa um, had a team. And um, in the history of the country, they had never won a game or scored a goal. They still, they still hold the record for the biggest uh, international loss, and that was against Australia, and that was 31-0. Wow. So uh, they didn't let that um, deter them. They got a new coach, played by Michael Fassbender. He came in, turned them around, um, and, you know, they kind of gave each other a little something, and, you know, they both gained something from that relationship. And it's just a, it's like an uplifting story. Rare these days. Um, you know, where nothing bad happens to anyone, and uh, it's just a beautiful, uplifting story about an underdog sports team. Yes! And I know it's good. Oh my goodness. Tell me, tell me, tell me how you pick projects because you are funny. You know, people don't know this about Taika, is that he's very funny. He has a great sense of humor, and most of his projects are really funny. Like, what, what makes you pick your, the projects? What, what do you... What is your aim when you're doing that? Um, I have to... Most of it is, like, I want to go to work and know that, uh, that I'm going to have a good time and that I'm going to enjoy my day. And, you know, because, like, I'm a filmmaker and we get to go and do these projects and people still haven't figured out it's not a real job. Yeah. You know? Like, what we, <laughs> what we get to do... Yeah, I mean, we should... It's like, I'm it's... amazed that they let us still do this stuff. You know, yeah. We get to go to work... Put makeup on, dress up in these things. These aren't even my clothes, you know. I'm gonna do, do these things. I'm gonna give these back after this, you know. And then, then they go pretend all day. And yeah. then we go home and that. But a lot of the times in, in these industries, people are like bitching and moaning about, like, oh, 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 oh my coffee wasn't hot enough. And yeah, all this, yeah. Like, you know, it's like, man, like, just That's chill out. Way. This That's is a good. The so the whole film's about just chilling out, you know, reminding people what, what we've got is pretty good. Yeah. So taking this, I'm taking this free cup. I'm gonna take it. You know, I got this will, this will be mine too. Listen, oh, you guys think we're all big wigs? We're rolling in it. We need, we we get what we can get. We take what we can get, right? We'll have a whole bunch of cups for you, I'm baby. Take, I'll give you a you. bag and everything. Tell me now. You know I'm gonna bring it up. Our flag means death. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Fan of so, Jackie. So, do you know what beast you was creating when you made me Spanish Jack? <laughs> do you know the trouble you started in my house? Cause I they, can't nobody talk to me now. I want twenty husbands. I have, <laughs> I have a sworn, have a gang of outfits. You know the princess. Yeah. So what was you thinking when you created my outfit? My, uh, um, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, it's just we need powerful people on screen like that. You know that show is so, it's, it's so inclusive. And you know everyone's represented, and it's—I um, mean, it's like spot the hetero, and that's and that and, and that you know, <laughs> spot the heterosexual character in that show, which is beautiful. It's a great thing that, to have. Also, you know that, that we we just need more shows that are different and feel like that. You know, I mean, I don't know if you've seen all the the amazing fan art, which is basically just so so good. Yes. There are some incredible soft porn artists out it's there. So seriously, <laughs> you know, I've got. Seriously. I think people get my face. Ta I, saw, I found one. My my head is Blackbeard, tattooed on the body of a dog. Um, but you're such a good Blackbeard. Oh my God, I I would watch the show even if I wasn't on it. That's how good that show is. Yeah, yeah me it too. Is me too. So good. I love the relationship of Blackbeard. Blackbeard. I, I just. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things on the show because it's, it shows such like 
vulnerability and, yeah. and love and like a tough man finding his feelings. I, I think it's so important Thank to show you. I'm that. I'm glad you said tough to, man. Yeah, to show that on screen. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that no, tough sure. men are supposed to have feelings too. It's like the way you found your way to love mm -hmm. and everything. I, I love everything about it. I think, well, you know, when you look at human beings in, in general, when people, you know, when tough guys say things like, you know, never let anyone get too close, you know, not gonna, no, never fall in love, that's because they um, have a tendency to let people get too close and want to get close and um, are suckers for love. Yeah. And you, people who say, oh, love. I can't get too close, you means that love. They, they love getting close to people. Yeah. 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 That's something I learned about you. Yeah. yeah. That's something I learned about you. When I first came around, I was like, he's just a big old softy, and he just loves love. And hey, you wouldn't think it. He's a big old, big old love lover. Well, OK, including me, you had some serious cameos come on there. Mini Driver, yep. uh, Bronson Penjolt. Yep. Is that how you say his name? Yeah, Balky. Yeah, yeah. It's Balky. Balky. Um, <laughs> Uh, yep. Will Arnett, Fred Armisen. Yes. Like, yes, how do yes. you get them to, to come? I mean, I mean, it's like I would like to think it's just me, but I think you know, I think that you know, the, the, whatever the popularity of the show was, and like how people and people got to see some of the stuff that we made in the first season, I think that just was you know testament to the good job we were doing, and people wanted to sign on to that. And you know, I think comedians follow comedians, and like, yeah, we're all friends, and we all like. Well, everyone's sort of, yeah, everyone, it's, it's a lot easier for us to get each other, to convince each other. We're also massive extroverts. That's like, yes. <laughs> it's not yes. that hard to get people to be yes. in your show. Yes. <laughs> now, I, I, I'm pretty sure you get this question all the time, but I'm going to ask it because you know I'm crazy. Um, <laughs> do you know you're fine as hell? <laughs> school that don't know that they're cute? Oh, I know. <laughs> and I knew back then, too. So the thing is, you know, I don't know if you get, like, you know, some of you will get this, when you walk past a shiny surface, like a reflection, and you catch a glimpse of yourself, and you're like... Nice. Who's that? <laughs> What's he doing in here? Why is he looking at me like that? <laughs> I'm not gonna say no. Well, uh, people, next goal wins is in the theaters now everywhere on November the 17th.